one of the things that we've been neglecting in our um, in our example here is some kind of validation. So first off, Cold Fusion offers two types of validation. You can do uh, the front end side or the server side. So let's change this to a oops. One second. Let's reload that file. Let's change this to a CF form. And we will change our phone to a CF input and our name to a CF input. And we will make both of these required. This will be for the Um, front end validation. Alright, so we'll do required is equal to true, and then let's do a message. Name is required. Let's do the same thing for phone number. Let's add a validate on this and we'll do telephone and message a valid telephone number is required. So if we refresh this guy, oh, I forgot two Fs on form, it's CF form, there we go, much better. And now my fields disappeared. Why did my fields disappear? <clears throat> oh, C input. I thought I fixed that. Okay. There we go. And because it is a CF input now, we need to remove our CF outputs. Um, it automatically it takes care of all that stuff automatically and get rid of that stuff and then as an input type. So let's refresh it again, we should be good. Okay, so let's submit it with a name or a phone number. Oh, look, name's required, valid telephone number's required. All right, Red Jones. I'm sorry, it's still a valid telephone, so 801. Nope, valid telephone is still required, so 444-5555, and we go submit. There we go. That's wonderful. Works like a charm. Now, what if we were to go in here under settings, preferences, Probably under developer settings. Yeah. So we want to disable JavaScript. Let's see if it's in here.
So we're going to disable JavaScript. Let's uh, get our preferences here. Refresh. Cancel. Let's uh, go to our page. And we'll hit submit. And I disable JavaScript though. Then I disable JavaScript. <clears throat> and we'll hit submit. Hey, look, I got a way around our JavaScript issue. So, that's not good. So, back here in our <coughs> excuse me, back here in our um, code. We need to check for to see if it's been submitted. Make sure to see if JavaScript is um, well, not to see if JavaScript is enabled, but we need to do some server side validation. So, if is defined form.id or is defined form.name, and then we are going to do some validation. So, okay, so they submitted the form. It's either an update or it's an add new. We're going to do CF set. Um, and we're going to do an is a valid. So, CF if not is valid form dot name. And we want it to be required. Well, actually, hang on. The valid part would be with telephone. So if we want to do CF if trim form.name, we're going to do a length of that. Hmm. And it's equal to zero. We're going to create an array called an error array. New, new one. And then we're going to append to it. So we're going to go. So if the error array. So if, if the, the name is, um, it's not blank, it's not empty. You need to append, and we're going to append a value of name is required. Then, CFF lane trim form dot phone equals zero. Array append, and we will do um, phone is required. And then if not is valid, and we're going to do the form dot phone. And it'll be a telephone type. Let me show you this really quick. So, um, cold fusion valid. Go to Adobe's website here. Oh, I have my type from value mixed up, so it needs to be type first. So you have all these different things that you can go go for. And telephone's the one that we want. So 
So we want telephone first. Form that phone. Um, valid telephone number is required. And then we can do, let's see, let's set the error array up here. And then in here, we can go if array line of error array is equal to zero, we want them to be able to continue. Else, we want to loop the array. And we want to output the information. So I called it. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's give it a shot. Refresh. Let's go back to here. And we broke something. One second. Okay, so we have um, that in place. So if the array doesn't contain anything, it won't, or it will enter in, do the updates, perform the queries. If it's not empty, it means there are errors, we'll off with the errors. Let's take a look. Oh yes, we were back on this thing. Um, line 58. Oh, we forgot to close our, there we go. Uh, I think I closed that a little too prematurely. There we go. All right. Let's refresh. Okay. So that stuff's back in place, and we go, wait, no, we're going to, um, disable our JavaScript, and we're going to submit. And what? Oh, I did my loop wrong. I meant to do instead of index, I think I can do item, and then we just need to output the I. Let's see, let's, let's try that again. Stable JavaScript, submit, there we go. And it's like, oh, name is required, phone is required, valid telephone number is required. 
you can obviously do some things to where um, to where you can do some if thens on the phone because you don't want them to be displaying you know both those type of thing but for our purposes this will this will work just fine so let's go back in here let's we can show that it is customizable so we'll enter a name Fred Jones now we have a Fred Jones um, John Smith and we will give him a, f a fake phone number submit oh valid telephones required and then of course you could have it so that you can pre-fill um, these values if you wanted to so if we wanted to we could write some JavaScript here and we can um, document dot get element by ID name dot value equals form dot name and then we can do the same thing for the phone number document dot get element by ID uh, phone dot value equals form dot phone. So we can easily put in what they entered. Uh, let's give those IDs. I don't believe we have, we just have names. So we need to give this an ID of name. <clears throat> And this is an idea of phone. Easy enough. So uh, let's go back. Let's refresh the page. And we want disable our JavaScript. So we would do John Smith, do a terrible phone number, hit submit. And you can see it, the name and phone number are still there. <coughs> Excuse me. And if we, this time, if we enter a valid phone number, he shows up. So just some, just some extra little, little tweaks in there that we can add to our, our little program here. Um, Hope you're enjoying this little series, and uh, we will uh, see you next time. All right, bye now.